Sit back, relax, put your belt on, and enjoy the show. Brumbies and the Tars. Yeah, that How much final... more Tars going to win by? Mate, the final matchup here. Um, we might get to see the return of Solomon Kata after his leg injury, Scotty Seo after his back, Tepe Moroa after his knee, and Lockie Swinton after his ban for being an absolute menace. How long um, till he gets banned again? <laughs> yeah, no. We we need no more of those in the Tars. Look, the, the Waratahs really have a lot of work to do from last week. And I think you throw in Lockie Swinton and it doesn't help. He can be an absolute menace, but they just need some control and some composure. I, I mean... I reckon they need a lot more than that, mate. They, they've... Physicality <laughs> did not match up. Nothing and Swinton, did. Hopefully Swinton just puts Noel Alessio on his ass all game yeah. and Nick White on his ass all game. He needs to do the tackling for the whole forward pack, basically. No, mate, Tizana made 25 and he made some beast tackles. Send both of them up together. I honestly think they will. To just kill people. Yeah, they have to. It's the only solution. That's the Waratahs game plan and there's that's all it says on the whiteboard. Yeah. Those two kill murder people. Murder 9 and 10. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, look, this, this is going to be a tough one to, to watch if you're a Tars fan. Look, for, <laughs> for, for Leo Fahinga, look, if, if you were, Craigs, would you be concerned of his performance last, last week in fantasy? Uh, no, I'm not concerned. I, I wouldn't be. But look, he didn't do much last week. He didn't find himself working himself into that game. Um, also, that the Brumbies driving more was shut down very comprehensively by the force. You know, I, I think there's going to be better chances for them this year, this week against the Waratahs, purely because the Waratahs don't have that solid of a, you know, a line out. They haven't been that physical last week, as Harry said. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if they can hold up. You know, that that driving more of the Brumbies. But is it? Does it mean the I'm Brumbies are a little bit place. weaker? Or does it mean the force were amazing there? You know, it's probably a little bit of both considering. Oh, well, actually, you know, the Brumbies haven't lost many personnel either in their no. front row. So, yeah, the force were good. The force must have been good. But um, all hopefully the Brumbies are rusty and they'll be more rusty this week. But we'll see. I doubt it. Um, look, that, that centre pairing for me last week was one of the highlights. Simone and Ikatao, uh, absolute weapons. And they just worked really well with each other. Ikatao played very well off Simone. Uh, he he has been very impressive, and I mean he's what twenty two. Yeah, so this is so. your first real crack last year. He had a few matches, but uh, I'm very excited to see how he goes. He's gone up in the books for me off the the back of that performance as well. He had his hand in everything, and he w- he was just an absolute menace on that field. Yeah, absolutely, very good. Um, the the tricky part of this equation for me is Solomon Kata. Where does he fit in? Does he fit in on, as a center? Does he come into the wing and we see the Mac Hansen or Muirhead drop? Muirhead drop to very the easy. Deck. Yeah, Andy Muirhead's gone. Man, I don't know. Gone. Right? If we actually be realistic, rather, rather than just listen to what Craig says, it's going to be a tough decision for them. You know, like, honestly, I think that. Craig's is completely wrong and Muir head will start. I think it's Hanson goes to the bench. Yeah. Drop him. Or oh, the second most likely is Kata comes off the bench. Yeah. The one thing out of that equation is Muir head definitely starts. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> it's all good, Craig's. Don't worry, mate. We, we know you're here. You don't need to keep speaking up. Um, but look, the Brumbies scrums had absolutely smashed the Tars scrum. Um, second half with McKinnery and, and CO, they're, they're quite McInerney. solid as well, McInerney. And the, the, the Tars getting weakened, losing some of their starters. I, this could be bad for the Tars. But again, I mean, the, the Tars forward pack last year, you know, there's been a couple of changes in the locks. Um, they're the, the biggest changes. And the, the forward pack was very good in scrums last year. So, I mean, you've got no Tom Robinson, which means Angus Bell's no mm. longer coming off the bench. Look, he started matches last year on occasion and was was very good in the scrum. And no, you know, you're once or twice, he, yeah. I'm saying the reserve. They they don't have any reserve front row. No, no, but I mean, so once Scott Seal and McInerney come in, yeah, and we're de- versing our bum Waratahs second row, their front row. We're gonna get smoked, yeah. mate. He wasn't throwing shade at Angus Bell, mate. Please. No, that's when Bell comes off. Harry said never. Harry yeah. said when Bell comes off. Yeah, there's a penalty. When- penalty <laughs> bums kick to the corner. Yeah. 
Waratahs don't understand how to lift their jumpers just yet, and yeah. then rolling all for out, fall out yeah. a try. Yeah. Rinse, repeat. That'll be what we're watching. Let, let's talk a little bit about, about the Waratahs. Who is their captain? Angus Bell. Angus Bell. We all want it. I've read a bunch of articles, and it's throwing Jack Dempsey out, who's leaving next year, and throwing other old people that we've already mentioned. Harry won't follow if. if... Well, look, our, our listeners, our listeners in Queensland will probably mail Harry down a Reds jersey if Alex Newsom gets the captaincy announced um, this week. So I'll take a sign, Reds. I'm keen. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> now, look, it, I, I would go for Jack Dempsey if he hadn't said that he's leaving. What you can't pick a captain agree. for leaving the team. I agree. And my new O'Connor tried to leave. So do we just go Carlo Tizano then? Just straight in. <laughs> No, I think you give the bell. I mean, he is the next Hooper, so that's true. Maybe you can give it to Desano. But look, this forward pack, Swinton, we, we're happy to see him back. Does that mean Will Harris drops to the bench? For me, I think it does. Tizano was too good, and he, he feels a role that Will Harris and Swinton just won't do. Uh, and that's a role that they need to have there as well. So a, a little bit of an uptick maybe in that back row, um, or definitely. The Waratahs, yeah right for the taking in that forward pack and the scrums. But do we see, surely we see Tupo back in for a, for a start. What am I talking about? I'm looking at red reds B front row there. So yeah. the reds B front row last week. Yeah. They started their weaker front row and that still dominated the Tars. Yes. So did quite, get, quite concerning. Did you get confused when you saw Isaiah Parisi? You thought it was talking about the reds. <laughs> Probably mate. Yeah. Isaiah Parisi, who's also not going to be in the Tars for a few weeks. Who replaces him in, in the centres? We're probably looking at Morawa coming in, teaming up with Newsom. something that we definitely didn't want to see. No one going to need a Wasi on one wing. I just said it. Craig's way is no wing and eat a Wasi. Is that what you, you normally say, Craig's? Yeah, where are your car keys? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Ram and Maddox to round out that that back three. Jack Grant was quite promising in his you know time last week, I thought. Um, he was the top try scorer in Shoot Shield in 2019 before going to Japan in 2020. So, I mean, he loves a snipe and he, he's an exciting player, but he just doesn't have that class or that, you know, hasn't been there, done that like Gordon. Huge loss. I was a little, little bit worried about James Ram as well. You know, they, there was some lingering doubts over his groin injury as well, the overload kind of injury that yeah. he must be managing. He was pretty average. He was very, I know all the Waratahs were quiet, so maybe it's just a symptom of that, but he was pretty quiet last week. I don't know if the ball got out to him very much, but he didn't seem to go, go looking look. for it. Yeah. yeah, he didn't go looking for it. There's also reports about Tizano having, you know, saw hammies, tight hammies after carrying the team in defense. So, shoulders, shoulders, man. Yeah, no, it was his hammy. But um, yeah, look, <laughs> how, much, how much of the Brumbies are going to win this by boys? Uh, all I was thinking is this will be the shortest podcast ever because we can literally cut crack Kagi out and it'll be two thirds <laughs> the length and the same amount of insight will be said. But <laughs> the Brumbies, I think by a lot, I think by 25. Craig's Waratahs by five. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, Brumbies, by, Brum, Brum, Brumbies by 15 for sure. I'm concerned far more this week. I think we're going to see a Brumbies record win against the Tars. Yeah, I'm going to say 35. Jesus. Oh, dear. <laughs> Very good.